Hey guys, in this video, let's look at innovative ways to use gradients inside Adobe Illustrator. Okay, look at these two artworks. I have created these line works using Rhino. So basic concept for this is how, as a human being, how well we adapt to situations. Basically, how much we attract, how much we repel each other with the situations. So this digital artwork is created out of a given point of attraction and point of charge to repel from those points. That's the main idea. So I won't be able to explain the entire process of creating these line works because it's a tedious process. But I'm, I have taken few of them and trying to show you that with just with gradients, we can create interesting shapes and interesting print patterns out of it. So that's the idea. And by the way, similar to these shapes, I have actually created very nice interesting shapes. I will leave a link in the description so you can have a look at it. Okay, let us start with this. Let me put a background uh, color. Okay, just draw a rectangle. This is just a simple gradient. Okay, if you select this, you will notice, go to the gradient tab. You will see this is starting from yellow to orange. So if you want to add any in bit midpoint, you can do it. Now select the line work. Go ahead and apply the stroke, same color. Now if you look at this and you select this, change the stroke thickness to 0.25. See it has started creating nice effect. Now if you go ahead and change the stroke thickness. So now if you can go to the gradient and reverse the gradient. So it creates this lighting is coming on the opposite direction. So if you give this 0.25, it's beautiful. So now if you select the whole thing again, you can go back and reverse the gradient. I think this is much better. The light is coming from one direction, the shadows are here. So it's beautiful. Maybe we can just increase to 0.35. It's nice. Okay, in this one, again, let's go ahead and fill in some gradient color. Go ahead and fill it with blue. Okay. Basically, it is just a blue, gradient of blue. Okay, now go ahead and select the line work, apply the same gradient stroke. Wow, now go ahead and change the stroke value. Wow, this is beautiful. This is very nice. See, just with gradient color, it can create a nice effect, basically. Very nice effect, okay. Now let's look at how we can create this. So let's go ahead and uh, let's put this uh, star symbol, okay. And change the anchor point and give it a fillet, okay whatever shape it is i'm just choosing this shape just tweak it now copy this and put it and scale it down okay let's keep it here as if it has started creating from that small one to the big one okay let's go ahead and uh, give stroke let's say 0.5 select both of them go to object blend make so what it has done, it has started blending between these two shapes. Now go ahead and object blend, blend options. Okay, now go ahead and say specified steps, preview, increase the number of steps. So it has started creating that many number of steps between those two shapes. So basically if you move the shape here, it will start to, it will start to play around with. See here, so So let's keep it here, okay. Now let's go ahead and fill some background color. Let's choose the rectangle and fill it with this color, okay. Maybe let's uh, reverse this, okay. Now select this and give it a stroke. Maybe let's let this time let's give it yellow. See, it's very nice. Now you can actually go ahead, double click, select the stroke. So let's say the top one stop on 0.5 and the bottom one let's say 0.1 you see so it is started grading from two different shapes and two different strokes so that also creating a kind of a gradient effect okay you can actually do this with some text so let's go ahead and put some text here let's say yes okay right click create outlines so now it has created outline scale it make it big Now, now select this shape, just copy it and go ahead and delete one uh, one stroke, uh, one line. So let's remove these, okay. Let it be one and uh, 
now this time let's remove the opposite okay now two of them are two separate lines let's put them in one layer okay so now these two are two different lines so if you look at this this is one and this is another one now let's try to blend between these two go to object blend make now it is blending between here go ahead and increase the blend options number of steps okay see beautiful so if you have like kind of a logo or text or something like that you can actually split the lines and then start to blend between them now select this go ahead and give some stroke and uh, now let's go ahead and put some grid in background okay it's nice now double click this change the stroke thickness see very nice so you can actually do a lot and with just gradient giving just a gradient stroke and gradient fill then that adds a depth and interest to the 2d shapes so it, it creates kind of a stunning uh, minimalist compositions you know and you can actually make your typography stand out you know by doing such things okay that's it for now guys i hope this was very helpful if you like this video i would appreciate if you give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel that would give me a motivation to do more videos and if you specifically want to know any trick kindly do let me know in the comments below i will try my best to make a video thanks for watching